What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be telling you the former rides at Six Flags Great Adventure. Six Flags Great Adventure is located in Jackson, New Jersey in the United States. I'm, I mean I shouldn't say in the United States but if you're watching from out of country it's located in the United States and it opened this park was Six Flags Great Adventure was founded um, in 1974. So, yeah, let's get right into it because this is probably going to be a long video. So, first up is The Boats. Opened in 1976. I mean, opened in 1974. Closed in 1974. Only lasted one year. It's a flat ride. It was paddle boats that guests were able to use in the lake. Next up was Antique Cars. As you guys, you could probably know that. Opened in 1974. Closed in 1975. And it was an antique car ride. Next up is Jumbo Jet. Opened in 1975. Closed in 1975. It was built by Schwarzkopf. It was a roller coaster. It was built and tested only a few times before it was removed. It was, is unknown as to why it was never opened to the public. So it didn't even open to the public. Next up is Big Furry or Fury, whatever you want to say it. Opened in 1974, closed in 1977. It was another roller coaster. And there's no notes for it. Next up is The Pretty Monster, opened in 1974, closed in 1977. It was a flat ride. Next up is Enterprise, opened in 1977, closed the same year. Flat ride, probably was an Enterprise. Next up was The Gondola, opened in 1977, closed the same year. It was another flat ride. Wild Flower. Opened in 1975, closed in 1977, it was a flat ride. Next up is The Haunted House. Opened in 1978, closed in 1978, so close the same year. And that was a walkthrough attraction, so I'm guessing it was some sort of walkthrough haunted house attraction. Next up is Super Cat. Opened in 1975, closed in 1978. So it was a flat ride. And guess what? We have another antique car ride, but it wasn't called antique cars. It was called the Grand Prix. Opened in 1974, closed in 1979. Antique car ride. Next up is Alpine Blitz. Opened in 1976, closed in 1978. Featured, it was a roller coaster. It featured two cars that would push or pull the train along its course. Great Train Ride. Opened in 1974, closed in 1980. It was a transport ride. Next up is The Wild Rider. Opened in 1978, closed in 1981. It's a short squaw roller coaster. It has no notes. For it. Next up is The Super Side. Winder opened in 1976, closed in 1983. Chance Rides Flat Ride. Next up is The Screamer. Opened in 1976, closed in 1983. It was built by Millennia, Millennia or something, Molina and Sons. It was a roller coaster, children's roller coaster. Next up was the Haunted Castle. Opened in 1979, closed in 1984. It was a walkthrough attraction. And it burned down in 1984, killing eight people. That's really sad. Next up is the Matterhorn. Opened in 1974, closed in 1986. It was a flat ride. Next up is Calypso. Opened in 1974, closed in 1987. It was another flat ride. Monster Spin. Opened in 1974, 
opened in 1978, closed in 1987. It was another flat ride. And guess what? We have paddle boats. Opened in the opened in 1987, closed in 19. Wait, opened in 1983, closed in 1987. It's an upcharge attraction paddle boats that park guests could use in the lake. Next up is Scooter, opened in 1975, closed in 1987. It was a flat ride. It was a bumper car attraction. Next up is the Delta World, opened in 1979, closed in 1987. It was your Delta World style flat ride. Next up was Surveyor Black Bobsled. Opened in 1984, closed in 1988, built by Inswin. It was a roller was, was moved to Six Sacks Great America. It's no longer at Six Sacks Great America, then got relocated again. Next up is Ultra Twister. Opened in 1986, closed in 1989, built by Togo. It was a roller coaster. It was moved to Six Sacks Astro World. Astro World. Astro World is now a defunct park. Next up is the Condor, opened in 1988, closed in 1990. It was a Huss, your Huss Condor. Next up was the Swiss Bob, opened in 1976, closed in 1991. It was another flat ride. Next up was the Lightning Loops, opened in 1978. Closed in 1992, built by Aerodynamics. It was a roller coaster. A roller coaster where one track was sent to Adventure World, now named Six Flags America, while the other was moved to Frontier City. Next up is Shockwave, built by Intamin. Opened in 1990, closed in 1992. It was moved to Six Flags Astro World. It was a roller coaster. Next up is Traffic Jam. Opened in 1976, closed in 1992. It was a flat ride, a classic bumper car ride. Next up was the Virtual Revolution. Opened in 1995, closed in 1995. It was an upcharge attraction. It was a flight simulator. Paranormal Wheel. Opened in 1974, closed in 1996. It was a Ferris wheel. African Tower, opened in 1991, closed in 1998. The so flat ride was part of the Adventure River section, was removed to make more space for the mass amount of attractions to be added the following season. Next up is the Asian Tower, opened the same year as African Tower, basically the same thing. Next up is Joust About. Opened in 1982, closed in 1998. It's a short scoff flat ride removed due to high maintenance costs. The North American Tower opened in 1991, closed in 1998. Was a part of the Adventure River section, was blah 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 blah. It was another tower for the, on the Adventure River River Rapids ride. Next up is the Spin and Acre, opened in 1999, closed in the year 2000. It was a flat ride. Pirate's Flight, opened in 1999, closed in 2001. Another flat ride. Then you have the Switcher, Switch, Switcher Bond, opened in 1975, closed in 2001. It was a flat ride. Removed at the end of the 1986 season, but was added back in 1990. 93. Next up was a Scrambler. The Scrambler opened in 1980. Opened in 1978, closed in 2001. It was a flat ride. Slingshot opened in 2001, closed in 2001. It was an upcharge attraction. It was a trailer mounted attraction. Time Warp opened in 1999, closed in 2001. Built by Chance Rides a Flat Ride Double Inverter. 
Sorry, I'm getting notifications. Now that we've reached the 10 minute mark, I'm gonna I'm gonna be just saying the names now and reading the details if it was only if it was a roller coaster. Okay. Next up is Ev Evolution. Then you had the Speed Sports. Yeah, to Turbo Force. Upcharge attraction was a trailer mounted attraction. Jumpin' Jack Flash. Opened in 1999. Closed to 2003 as a flat ride. Pendulinium. Um, Chaos. Rodeo Stampede. Rotor. Next up, we have a roller coaster. Viper. Opened in 1995. Closed in 2005. Togo. The ride was closed very often and was considered to be an extremely rough ride by park goers. Next up, you have this spin, Mr. Freefall. Yeah, then you have the Freefall. Then you have Hydro Flume, which I'm guessing was a log flume ride. Then you had the Axel Ross. Then you had the Autobahn. And then you have another roller coaster, Batman and the Robin, the Chiller. Opened in 1997, closed in 2007. It's a premier ride roller coaster. The ride was closed very often and opened almost a year behind schedule. The Batman's side was troubled more than the Robin as it was rarely open throughout its lifetime. Then you have the Flying Wave. And then you have another roller coaster. Roller coaster, never mind. The Looping Starship. That's not a roller coaster. Then you have the Music Express. And then you had Splash Water Falls. Then you had Eruption. And then you had the Great American Stream Machine, which is a roller coaster. Opened in 1989, closed in 2010. Built by Aerodynamics. Ride was replaced by Green Lantern. Oh, and the Great American Stream Machine was an Aerodynamics Mega Looper. Then you had the Right Stuff Mash 1 Adventure. Then you had Turbo Bungie. Rolling Thunder, a PTC wooden roller coaster, closed in 2013. Then you have El Dalero, which was a Larson Loop. It was relocated to Laran. Then you have Roadrunner Railway. Then you have Bugs Bunny Seaport, Daffy Duck Sea Sea Adventure, Safari Tours. And then you have Papa Lee Pew's Heart Away. And Roadrunner Railway was a roller coaster. Closed in 2019. Children's Roller Coaster. The ride was replaced by Jersey Devil Coaster. That concludes it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. We will have a Two, two more fun videos coming out tomorrow and Sunday. And then of course, we'll have the videos coming out next week. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button. I'll see you guys next time. Also, subscribe. We're at almost at 100 subscribers. And go subscribe to my other channels. Names are in the description.